In the realm of Storybook Village, a band of curious characters known as the Super Readers found themselves in a peculiar predicament. A question hung in the air like a cloud. What should we do? Princess P pondered. Suddenly, Pig sauntered in, brandishing an iPhone like a trophy. Where on earth did you find that? Wyatt inquired, his voice laced with suspicion. Oh, just picked it up from a place called Walmart, Pig replied nonchalantly. The room fell silent. Did you pay for it? Wyatt pressed on. Well, no, I just took it off the shelf and left, Pig confessed, his voice wavering a tad. Thus, the super readers found themselves tangled in a moral conundrum. Venturing into the real world, they discovered the aftermath of a break-in at a toy store. Did you do this? Wyatt questioned, his gaze fixed on Pig. No, I would never, Pig protested. Meanwhile, Red, struck by a sudden whim, walked into a pet store and exited with a goldfish no transaction made. Pig, witnessing the act, commended Red, You're a master. In the midst of this chaos, Daniel Tiger learned a new word, a word not fit for young ears. He uttered it to Margaret, who in turn repeated it to Mom Tiger. Shocked and appalled, Mom Tiger reacted with a slap, sending Daniel Tiger into a whirlwind of emotions. Daniel Tiger, now nursing a wounded heart, plotted with his friend Owl. The next day, their innocent playdate took a dark turn. Owl attacked Dad Tiger, while Daniel Tiger turned his newfound fury onto Mom Tiger. The tragic scene ended with a chilling rendition of their neighborhood song. Elsewhere, Pig's resentment toward his hardworking father reached a boiling point. In a fit of rage, he attacked his father, ultimately leading to a gruesome end. Wyatt and his brother Jack, too, found themselves embroiled in a violent altercation over a misplaced guitar, resulting in another tragic loss. Red, visiting her grandmother, reacted violently to a simple admonishment, leading to yet another shocking incident. Princess P, denied a simple pleasure by her parents, retaliated in the most brutal way. The peaceful storybook village was now a scene of multiple crimes. In the aftermath, the super readers faced the consequences of their actions. Daniel Tiger was sentenced to 10 years in juvenile detention, Owl to 12 years in prison. Wyatt received a 16-year sentence, his parents 33. Red and Princess P were handed 7 and 11 years respectively. Their once lively and innocent world was now wrapped in a shroud of silence and remorse. Storybook Village, once a land of joy and adventure, was now a picture of peace, but a peace born out of a grim chapter in its history. The super readers had learned the hardest lesson of all. Actions have consequences and sometimes they are irreversible.